Over the last little while, we've been examining how the digital world is transforming our society. Tonight, we look at the power of the Internet to reach into one of the toughest neighborhoods in the country. We're zeroing in tonight on a neighborhood in Toronto called the Jane Finch Corridor. It's home to a lot of underprivileged people, but home now to some who are harnessing the power of the web to try to change lives. Here's Alison Vushnik. Gangs, guns, and bad press. Jane and Finch used to have a crime rate 200% above the national average. That was then. Now a massive community effort to clean up the streets has paid off, with crime plummeting by more than 60%. Yeah, that's a music machine. Now armed with a camera, Paul yeah, Nguyen yeah. is trying to clean up his neighborhood's image. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's He's good. making a video, but these aren't high-paid artists. These are students from Jane and Finch. Paul, an honor student awarded by police for fighting racism, thought the best way to change perceptions was to create this website. Basically, I wanted to tell about Jane Finch like from the inside instead of the outside. To get people to visit the site, he knew he needed to generate a buzz, enter the videos and local artists. What happened next shocked all of them. To walk behind them left and right. Their music downloaded all over the world. At least 1,000 new visitors every day. Chuck Yakins, a Vietnamese rapper, is now an international sensation. <laughs> it's flattering, I guess, right? But, like, I don't know. I don't know how it got to that extent. We're going somewhere. We're not just slow down anymore like people think we are. Like, I know people that are scared to come around here for no reason. Some website visitors are critical, saying the videos portray exactly what they are fighting. Stereotypes of turf wars and thugs. But the Jane and Finch rappers defend it, saying it's art and exactly what you'd see on MTV. Growing up here is, is basically harder. Like, if you're talented in any way, you have to work ten times as harder. Because we have an audience, so I want to use it to, like, for good. To recreate the image of where they live. In Toronto, this is Global's Allison Bushna reporting. And that's Global National for Thursday. I'm Kevin Newman. Thanks for joining us tonight.